Buruboyan, Burubo Sheshe from Baba Ilegua's channel. <clears throat> uh, somebody asked me the other day and I forgot to email you back, but I'm going to do a video for you. The question was, what should I first do to start my path on this religion? My advice to you as a Baba Lao, don't see a palero, don't see a santero, see a spiritista. Build a boveda. The boveda is something that you're going to need to elevate your muertos. A lot of people say, oh no, you need to get scratched in palo so you can have your muertos and this, this and that. But the thing is, not everyone needs to get scratched in palo. So for those of the people who don't need to be scratched, they still need to elevate their muertos. But how? The answer is the boveda. I've done a lot of video, like two videos on the boveda, how to prepare a boveda, how to do a simple boveda, and um, it's real important because you need to find out who your guardian ancestral spirit is, um, it, it, and it's very important that you elevate those muertos because without the muertos, it's nothing. The muertos, you have to have the bendición, the blessing of the egun to go forward. So that doesn't necessarily mean you have to get scratched in palo. That means you got to start get going to misas. What is a misa? That means mass. You have to go to spiritual masses. You go to a spiritista's house. You dress in all white. They, um, you know, they do spiritual masses. See what your egun wants. See what your muertos want. See what's going on. And you go to a couple of those. Go to three, four, five, six, seven. Go to as many as you can to start learning who your muerto is. How to appease your muerto. How to offer uh, offerings to him what kind of stuff he likes, find out his name, find out what offerings he likes, find out stuff that you need to know that's very important so you know who your muerto is and you don't go into santo and they ask you who's your ancestral spirit or whatever. That way you'll be able to say, boom, it's Ta Julian or oh, uh, Francisca or oh, whatever the case may be, whatever your name, the muerto's name is, you know. This is important because that gives you a bit... That gives you a bridge with your muertos. Now, sometimes it happens that some people have a really strong bond with their muertos. And after they do a ceremony, maybe like in Ocha or Ifa, and they start telling me, because this is not an uncommon thing. I hear this all the time. But um, Aluo, um, I don't know, after I got, you know, received Ifa, it's just like I can't feel my muertos no more. It's a disconnection. And that's normal, because when you receive Ifa, it kind of distances your muertos. That's why a Babalao can't get montado no more. Because Orula is like a muerto himself. It's the más gran muerto en esta tierra. He's the biggest muerto in the, on the earth. So, in those kind of cases, you need to receive Orun. You need to receive, like I said, Orun's a beast. Don't get it twisted. Orun is very strong. So, when in cases like that, when you are feeling disconnected, and for those of you out there who have received Ifa or Santo, and you're feeling disconnected now from your Egun or your Muertos, that doesn't mean you gotta go to Palo. Uh uh. That means, now if it's called for you to go to Palo, then that's what you need to do. But it doesn't necessarily mean all people have to do that. For those of you who don't need to get Palo, you can receive Orun. Orun right there will build your connection fast back with your muertos and you'll feel your muertos. Why? Because Orun is a, he's el, el rey de los muertos. He's a very, he's uh, what's working with the muertos right there. So for those of you, I hope these videos help you because I don't want to see anybody get misled. But misas, misas, misas and the boveda. Again, I'm going to show you guys a picture of my boveda. That way you can see what it looks like. That is a boveda espiritual. It's a little bit dirty, but um, you know it's always good to keep a vela burning to the muerto as much as you can. Every Friday, go over there, give a rezo. This is a very very good book right here. It's called Oraciones, and I think you could even get it in English. It's by Alan Kardak, and it's rezos. And you're not a santero, you're not a babalao, you're not a palero. But this teaches you rezos to pray to your muertos for certain situations. To elevate yourself in this situation or in that situation or this. But like I said, before you start doing that, you got to go to misas to find out who your muertos are. So Buruboyan, Buruboshe, from Baba Ilegua's channel.
And remember, the bóveda, primero es la bóveda, alafia.